Welcome back everyone. We are on the Disney Wish for our second day. It's Halloween on the high seas day today. We want to show you all the Halloween fun that we can find and share with you guys. We're also stopping at NASA and we have an excursion. So we are excited to have a great day and share it with you. Sanderson sisters are doing their meet and greets and photos with guests. We might try to do that with them this cruise. We missed them last October. There's always a really long line. And just like you see the Sanderson sisters um, are characters dressed up in costume. Um, there's gonna be other characters dressed up in costume too. We're gonna get dressed up. Lots of people are walking around the ship with costumes on. We're also gonna show you some of the Halloween merch we found and it's gonna be a fun day. We're really excited. We love Halloween. Well, we're now on deck 13, which is where Quiet Cove is. We're gonna go hang out in there, get some coffee, and enjoy this area. Some friends of ours have said it's kind of hard to find, which it's not as obvious as it is on the other ships. If you know you want to go somewhere, all you gotta do is look at one of those maps near the elevators and the stairwells, and you'll be able to find where it is. We're at Joyful Sweets and I got some hazelnut gelato. I also had a passion fruit macaron. We got to taste lots of samples of these ice creams to pick, but I love hazelnut, it's really good. Alyssa also got hazelnut. She got some pearls on top of hers. Well, you copied me with the pearls, didn't you? Yep. I got one of the featured Halloween flavors for the gelato is a chocolate and orange with uh, the caramel and chocolate crisp pearls. What'd you get, Lens? I got 20th of shimmering, it's basically just vanilla. Oh, it's like a 25th anniversary flavor with some other toppings on it? Yeah. I also got one of the Halloween treats that they have here at Joyful Sweets. It's a double-decker Oreo, I think, covered in chocolate with a little sugar skull on it. And they have, some of these have different designs. We showed in our first video all the different like Halloween treats. Uh, actually, one of the crew members here walked us through all of the options here. If you want to see all the different Halloween treats that they have here at Joyful Sweets, go watch our first video if you haven't already watched that yet. Chris got that Halloween special covered chocolate covered Oreo. They have lots of other really yummy looking Halloween treats here. So many things to choose from. I'm happy I got my hazelnut gelato. This is really good. This double decker Oreo covered in chocolate. There's also like caramel in there. It's, Carrie's going in. <laughs> it's really good. Oh. Very chocolatey. It's chewy. Mm. Alyssa loves Oreos. Too much chocolate? You don't love the rich chocolate stuff. And here you can see the prices here at Joyful Sweets. Honestly, not that bad at all. I mean, two scoops of gelato for five fifty. There's so many gelato shops we've got walked into. That's like a child scoop, but it is an extra cost on top of the cost of your cruise. It does not come included. Well, right now we're just taking a little break in the stateroom. We all had lunch, then we had gelato. It was just yummy and nice, especially after we had a fun excursion this morning that we wanted to tell you about. And it was a really fun excursion. A lot of people say they don't like to get off at Nassau. They like to spend the day on the ship and just enjoy the things the ship has to do, but it's just so beautiful here. We've never been here, so we wanted to just be out on the water. So we booked a catamaran and snorkel excursion, and it's about an hour boat ride out to a really beautiful reef, and then you have an hour to snorkel, and then you come back. And it, it didn't really feel that long. Um, it was really nice. You know, like always, you gather down in Luna and get ready and wait for everybody in your party. They give you a life vest, they give you the snorkel, the mask, fins. It was just beautiful. Before we even got to the reef area, it was really nice just to be on a boat out in the harbor, seeing parts of Nassau that we wouldn't have seen if we just kind of went into the city and did a little shopping and eating. One of the lifeguards they had out there and he was floating around, but he also had some bread that he was throwing in the water and then the fish would just swarm and there's so many beautiful fish. One of the reasons we booked it too is I remember when we were in Cosmel, we were all looking at the water like, oh my gosh, that water is so beautiful. Why don't we have an excursion out on the water? Yeah. So we knew the water was going to be beautiful here too. They have um, ropes in the middle of the catamaran. It's like a net. Like a net. Yeah. So you can lay on the net or sit on the net, but we were laying on it and looking into the water as we were going on the catamaran. The water's so clear. You see right through the, it's, the bottom. It's actually just really relaxing. Yeah. Better than a glass bottom boat because you can really see everything really clearly. We had a great time snorkeling. Um, we did some jumping off the boat. That was really 
fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Lindsay stayed on the boat for the most part. She doesn't love swimming in the ocean. She got off the boat just for a few moments. Uh, just to get cool. She mostly enjoyed her time on the boat, I think. It was really fun just to get in the water, get cool, and also just see all the fish. If you like that kind of thing, which Lizzie doesn't, but <laughs> yeah, it was so much fun. Just like I touched a few fish, like they were right up on us and it was a lot of fun. So then on the trip back, that was also really beautiful. And then one of the guys was pointing out all the mansions on the beach and telling us who owned each one. I don't know if he's making it up or if it was true. But... Yeah, he's like, oh, Jeff Bezos, the guy who started Amazon has a house there. Oh, that's uh, Michael Jordan's house. That's Oprah's house. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know, but I could see that they would own those houses. Oh, yeah. Because they're in a great location and really, really nice homes. I think it was a great excursion. It wasn't too long. We got to come back, enjoy our lunch, hang out, and I mean, we still have over an hour until the ship leaves and we've yeah. been back on board for a while. Oh, we also did a little shopping when we got back, just a little bit. We stopped in one store mm -hmm. in the port. They have redone a lot of the port and it's yeah. really pretty. I think they've finished phase one. Yeah. And there's gonna be a phase two that should be done by next summer. All the shops in that newly remodeled area are really pretty, mm -hmm. really nice. Um, so we, we enjoyed that. I'm gonna go lay out on a lounge chair and I think you guys are gonna be watching a movie. Yeah, I like the air conditioning. Yeah, I don't mind. I love being outside and looking at the water. So that's what I'm gonna go do. The girls and I just finished watching Aladdin in our stateroom. Something we've noticed is whenever we do an excursion, we come back and we're just wiped. So it's been nice just to relax. Carrie is up in the adult only area. She said she has a lounger next to her that is open. So I think I might go up there and hang out with her. I don't know, figure out what we do from there. We're just outside our stateroom and I can hear the Halloween music playing. It just definitely adds to the vibe of a Halloween on the High Seats Cruise. I wanted to show you our stateroom door. We did not show you the magnets. Uh, I didn't put those out till last night. I got these uh, from Cruise Designs BB, I think. Uh, it's an Etsy store. They're basically magnets uh, made, made to look like a key to the world card, uh, but it has details about all of our Disney cruises, all five of them, including our current one. I also made these magnets here of the Sanderson sisters to fit around the Disney Wish uh, stateroom door number because it's a different design. All the other ships have a round porthole looking thing. This is a, a different looking design. Cruising to Platinum, although now it should say Pearl, but I don't think we're ever gonna get to Pearl, honestly. <laughs> but we have each of the ships checked off except the Dream, and this is our fifth cruise. I also have one of our D23 gold member magnets there. We also got Pixie Dusted, this uh, Mickey pumpkin magnet on our last cruise, last Halloween on the High Seas Cruise, which was super fun. I got these as well. These are all just Disney snacks. Uh, love, love, love those. Uh, I've always wanted to get Disney snack magnets because it's one of the things that we love the most on cruises are, it's the food. Someone gave this to us. Well, it looks like an old fast pass. So that was fun that someone uh, Pixie dusted us that as well. I was also pointing out one of these um, ship maps earlier. Honestly, we haven't found it that hard to navigate around the ship. It, it's different for sure than all the other Disney ships. The elevator and uh, stairwell uh, sections, the two of them here, they're pretty equidistant from any part of the ship. So wherever you're out on the ship, it's not that hard to get to it. If you have a stateroom that's far in the back of the ship, I can totally understand the annoyance that would come with having to walk all the way over here to get to uh, one, which honestly is why we always pick a stateroom close to the elevators and stairwells. Uh, but all the things that you want to go to that are on the lower part of the ship are all grouped together really well right in this area. The only thing funky to really get to is the Quiet Cove area. That one's a little bit, I wouldn't say it's hidden. You can find it and you can get to it, but how to get there is a little bit weird. If that's something you enjoy doing, make sure you figure out early on your cruise how to get there so you know how to get there without having to rely on a map like this. All right, made it outside. It's actually not too bad right now. The weather is not too hot when you're in the shade, which is where Carrie's hanging out. I got me some soft serve, some more blueberry and mango in a cup with a, with a spoon. Honestly, that's the way to go. If I just want a quick bite of uh, soft serve, I don't mind the cone, but if I want to sit down and enjoy it for a little while, get it in a cup. It's, uh, it's exceptional. 
made it up to the Quiet Cove area, found Carrie, and there's no one really around us, uh, which is really nice. At first, these were all taken when I first got here, but I, yeah. I waited close by and jumped on a couple of these as soon as someone got up, but this is a nice place to sit. It feels really good. It, it, all day, it's been really humid outside, Yeah. but we're in the shade. This is a great area. If you just want to hang out in the adult-only area in the Wish, this is a great area to do it. Just down the way is the Cove Cafe. We're on deck 13, right? Yeah. Yeah. The area over by the, the adult pool in the Quiet Cove area does not look that quiet. There's it's also directly in the sun right now. If I had yeah. my bathing suit on, I might have tried to get in one of those pools. Actually, there's pools on the way up here, which you can't see where I'm pointing, but um, there's like these really uh, like half moon shaped pools um, with waterfalls coming down in the like family area. Mm -hmm. They were empty when I came really? up here. Yeah. And there's a pool, I think it's Chippendale Pool, Chippendale's Pool. Uh, somewhere on, I think it's the front of the ship or the back of the ship. I can't remember where. That's one of the things is it, it is hard to remember where things are at, even though we've already been there. Yeah. <laughs> because we're not used to the layout of this ship. I feel like though I am getting a, I'm getting used to it a lot faster than I thought I would be. Me too. Like I've, I feel like I've kind of figured out those maps are super helpful, but um, they are. everything I've... is really pretty close to each other. So yeah, all the main things are. Yeah. Yeah. And I am not minding the elevators and stairs. Like they're actually kind of close to each other. So. Maybe it's because I had really low expectations because so many people complained. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, it's way better than I thought it would be. I say if you haven't been on the Wish and you're kind of mulling it, come not having any expectations based on other Disney cruise ships. Yeah. Just come expecting something new and different. I think that was helpful for us. It was. All the other things really, you know, that make it a Disney cruise are still totally here. That's been really good so far. And we're only one day in. Yep. So I'm going to go help Lindsay with straightening her hair because she's dressing up as Taylor Swift tonight. <laughs> and you have some things you're going to do. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the decorations and the things they do around the ship to deck it out in uh, Halloween theming. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. So I'm in the Grand Hall and this is pretty much where you come onto the ship. You can see the Halloween tree right there, the pumpkin tree. And you can see some people are already dressed up in costumes getting ready for uh, all the Halloween celebrations tonight. Some people doing some meet and greets with some of the characters that are on the ship here. And the people are taking pictures in front of the tree and on the staircase. But they have a lot of uh, just Halloween fall themed decorations. It's not as Halloween on the Wish as it is on the other ships. They don't deck the Wish out as much as they do the other ships. And you can see right there, I'll get a little closer up view. Uh, of some of that uh, decoration they have. I would love to see what it looks like at Christmas time on the Wish. I think that will be amazing. Another thing uh, they do on the Wish for decorations that they don't do on all the other ships, a lot of the other ships have more generic Halloween themed decorations in the porthole windows. On the Wish, they have uh, designs of different villains. You got Yzma here from Emperor's New Groove, but I did notice over here they had Maleficent. They also have some uh, fun picture backdrops uh, featuring Halloween scenes. This one's like a spooky forest. Wanted to come up here to uh, Deck 4 to show you guys a few more of the uh, designs in the portholes. You got Jack, the Pumpkin King, you got another Maleficent over there, but you also have uh, Hades, I almost said Jafar, Hades right there as well. You also have the Evil Witch uh, right there from Snow White. Then you have this guy over here uh, who's the villain from uh, Fantasia. I cannot remember his name, so if you can let us know in the comments, that would be super helpful because I cannot remember this guy's name. I'm sure some of you guys who are watching our channel who love Disney probably more than we do uh, know exactly the name of this villain. And also, it looks like we are moving. We are leaving Nassau. It is a lot of fun to see, really, a lot of people uh, dressed up in costume. There are quite a few couples dressed up as princes and princess couples, and a lot more than I remember on our last two Halloween cruises on the Wonder. Super fun that people are getting into it. But I'm gonna head back to our stateroom and check in on the girls. Well, we are all set up. Carrie's taking pictures of the girls. You can probably tell what they are. Lindsay is? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Alyssa? Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. You did a good job putting that together. Yeah. Hey, we found that at the Halloween store. Lindsay found all that on Amazon. Well, this is from Etsy. This is from Amazon. That's true. This is from Amazon. This is from Sephora, but I got a sample because I didn't want to spend $35 How on lipstick. I'm going to use like once or twice. And Carrie is? The Pumpkin Queen. The Pumpkin Queen. How? I'm very happy. How proper? Costume. It was so easy, and I'm not hot. Very practical. And I get to wear a tiara. Yep, the tiara is makes it work. 
I, I'm Halloween on the high seas. I am Halloween time at Disneyland. I'm one of those. I, I'm just a bunch of Disney Halloween pumpkin-y throw, throwing up all over me with clothes. Uh, I want to explain my outfit. So this is basically on the Eras tour, the tour that Taylor Swift is currently on. She enters her Red Era, which is one of her albums, with uh, the 22 song. This is one of the outfits that she wears. For the 22 song, she has three different shirts. She has this one, and she has two other ones. Yes, thank you. Take it all in. Uh, and then at the end of the 22 song, she gives her top hat to one of her fans. All right, I think Alyssa wants to go get candy. Carrie is very proud of herself. I'm kind of dying in this jacket. It's really humid out here. Lindsay's doing good. Alyssa, I don't know how she's doing because she has a big cloak. But we are in line for the treat trails. <laughs> too much. Too much candy. <laughs> That was a lot of candy, kid. back in the store because I did want to at least show you guys the Halloween merch they had. This is the new Halloween on the High Seas Spirit jersey. Uh, it's pretty fun looking. It looks, I think, think, very similar to what the Parks one looks like, but it has a Disney Cruise Line on the front, and you can see a cruise ship right there with Goofy looking spooked. But that's a really fun one. That was very, very popular when uh, I was here last night trying to get a few things uh, for Carrie and I. You got a sweatshirt here with uh, Mickey looking through his fingers. That's kind of fun. You also have a welcome to Halloween. It doesn't say Halloween on the high seas, but uh, you see uh, the cruise ship here. And it's, I don't think there's anything on the back of that one. Nope, but it does say Disney Cruise Line on the sleeve. You can also see the hats here. I think they have these in the parks. You can also see the Loungefly backpacks here. I think these are the very same ones they have on the park. So nothing different here. And they also have a Halloween on the high seas t-shirt for kids. They also have another kind of uh, spirit jersey here. It says, be your own kind of magic, which I don't think it's connected to anything specific. Maybe Hocus Pocus, but I don't see them, the witches on there. So you also have a similar themed uh, Mickey or mini ear, and you have the Disney Cruise Line Halloween on the high seas uh, ears that you can only get on the ships here. Just a bunch of other Halloween merch. You got the Mickey pumpkin mugs, and you have Halloween candy, and just a bunch of other things you get. You also have the uh, Mickey pumpkin light up glow necklaces right there as well. And one thing they do have here, something that says Halloween on the high seas, it's the Halloween tree. This one looks a lot more like the, the, uh, the Halloween tree on the other ships, other four ships. And there are people getting pictures with Daisy as a witch because it's Halloween on the high seas tonight. Well, there goes Daisy. Pluto is out there as well. So Daisy and Pluto are out there for a little bit. A bunch of people taking their pictures in front of the pumpkin tree. Donald, I don't know if you can see, but Donald is right there. There are characters all around the Grand Hall taking pictures with guests. We've had a few uh, crew members point out uh, Lindsay's costume. They just point at her and say, yes. They're so uh, happy to have someone repping Taylor Swift. What can I say? One time there was this uh, lady, like we were trying to take pictures and uh, she was, I think, in line behind us or something. And she's like, oh my gosh, I love your costume. And I'm like, oh yes, thank you. And she's like, just like, complimenting me like like as if I'm Taylor Swift she's like oh you're just so like so you're so ambitious and you're so hardworking I'm like oh thank you and like Taylor Swift gives her hat to a fan like during her song 22 so I like uh almost like give her the hat like that <laughs> yes, honey. it's a Taylor Swift reference so. yeah you gotta be a Swifty I'm in Luna right now and they have a villain game night game show going on right here there's smoke in the air they have villains on the screen and you got a game host here they have drawing classes and all sorts of things that are part of the whole Halloween on the High Seas experience celebration. Well, I found the girls in our stateroom. We're trying to find Carrie. Once we find her, we're going to head into 1923 for dinner tonight. And we are pumped for 1923 because the food in there looks incredible. We found Carrie. She joined us for dinner. And we're at 1923 tonight on the Walt Disney side. And there really is no difference our server told us 
Just that some of the artwork is a little bit different. The menu looks really good. I'm excited. Lindsay's been really excited about the menu tonight. The appetizers and then salads and the soups look kind of mid, but for the main course, uh, I'm really excited about the lamb and the lemon yon. I love lamb. I've probably figured out by now. I get it like every single time. She's a meat girl. This place reminds me of like a very fancy version of Animator's Palette. Because it has like a lot like a lot of the artwork and like sketches and stuff like that. But like, fancy it. Pop quiz. What's the only correct way to have your steak? Medium rare. Like Good here, job. Here, medium because they kind of like undercook it. So here, on the busy quiz, medium, but everywhere else, medium rare. This is the only restaurant we've been to that I can remember that's like, it, it feels like a normal restaurant where it's not like one big open concept. It's like different rooms. So it's definitely a different feel. I like it. And the tables, as cramped as they can be, they're actually pretty spaced out in here. Which is good because we need lots of room for our many things we will order. And if this were during the day, we would have a great view of the ocean. Oh, yeah. It would be fun to come here for breakfast. And for bread service, we have fig and olive bread with honey butter dip. And the uh, honey butter comes like whipped butter, but it's got a little bit of honey infused in it. It's pretty good. The appetizers look so good. So I'm getting three. I'm gonna get the porcini spiced ahi tuna, which I think is a tartar. Oh, maybe not. I thought it was a tar like thought it was raw tuna. Um, it's got lots of yummy stuff in it. And then there is a tricolor tortellini, and it has artichokes and sun dried tomatoes. I love anything with artichokes and, and lemon. And lemon. And then I love burrata mozzarella. So burrata, burrata mozzarella with prosciutto de parma. That sounds delicious. Steering contest is going down. Go. For a our drinks came, and I was about to say this is the best drink of the day I've had on this cruise, and then I remembered this is only the second one. But I didn't like the one yesterday very much, but this is really good. It's called a haunted Rita, but it's not a normal margarita because it has like pineapple juice instead of lightning lime, and it has some cherry in it, and it has tequila, so that's normal. But it's um, different flavors, but it's really good. Really, really good. Yeah, I got the same. I got the Haunted Rita. I'm a little bit bummed they don't have spooky juice on this cruise for the drink of the day on the Halloween on the High Seas Day. It is a really good drink that they used to have for the drink of the day on Halloween on the High Seas Day. But I'm excited to try this. Alyssa got the kids drink of the day, or the non-alcoholic drink of the day. How is it? Tastes good. Not as good as yesterday's, but tastes good. I think it's called Mango Potion. Right, Lindsay? It's got some kind of like spooky name to it. Yeah. Just want to point out, we were seeing lots of lightning out the window. We saw some earlier when we were outside too, but there was just a really big flash. So this is a really cool spot. I bet it would be great during the day, but at least we get a little bit of a show now with the lightning. Oh, oh, I saw something flash off the side. Like I side-eyed a flash. You saw it out of the corner of your eye. I side-eyed it. So I took a sip of the, what's it called again? The Haunted Rita? Alyssa, you can't have the cherry. I know. It's a boozy cherry. <laughs> boozy cherry. But I took a sip of this. It is really good. Really glad we got this. Like Carrie said, better than yesterday's drink of the day. If they have this on your Halloween the High Seas Cruise and you like margaritas and you don't mind a little bit of a different twist on it, definitely try it. It's really good. I don't know why I'm thinking of it. It kind of has like an amaretto sour flavor. It reminds me, I'm going to get an amaretto sour. I'm going to get that in honor of my friend from home. She introduced me to that drink. It's a good one. So far, I've tried the tricolor tortellini. Delicious. It has a yummy sauce. It's nice and hot. It has some really good artichokes with it. And then the tuna. Also very good. I have not tried the burrata yet because it's my favorite. I'm saving it for last. Lindsay got a Caesar salad which she has come to love on this trip. And Alyssa got the uh, tuna tartare. She's playing with her mushrooms. Oh, it's chicken. No, the burrata cheese, it's like a mozzarella. It's very creamy in the middle. That looks so, so good. All of those flavors together. Burrata, prosciutto, caramelized uh, orange, and then this flatbread that has sesame seed and cranberries on it. All of it together is amazing. It is, it is, Honestly, probably one of the like top 10 things that I've tasted on Disney Cruise Line. I know we keep talking about this uh, burrata and prosciutto appetizer. They have like this caramelized sugar on the orange. It's so good. This is incredible. If you're coming on the wish, you have to try this. If 
Carrie said you should get three of them. This is really good, and like Carrie said, all of these in one bite together. Amazing fresh flavor. It, I can't even describe it, because you heard all the things that are in it. Coming together, oh my gosh. Salty, sweet, creamy. There's all these different textures, it is so good. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Lindsay just tested her English accent out on our assistant server, Lucy, who's from the United Kingdom. She said you had a really good accent. Thank you. She did not say you were good at eating. Yeah. That's true. I have this pasta. It's a tortellini pasta. It's Prosecco, cream, pancetta, shallots, creme de mushrooms, lemon, and thyme. Oh my goodness, it sounds so good. And then of course I have the filet. Um, and these guys have the lamb, which is Italian fat, flat parsley and rosemary crusted rack of lamb. Lindsay has also like come to like love lamb. And then the jellies. <laughs> I think Alyssa wants to show you her steak and how perfect I think it is. Oh, there is some lightning back there. I should have ordered it medium. That's a little uh, alive there. I know. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be good. Yeah, and I got the lamb as well, with a little bit of mint jelly. And the potatoes look really good with the lamb. And I also got the filet. Alyssa is a happy girl. Filet. Yum. <laughs> Alyssa is going to try my um, lamb, rack of lamb. And I told her the best way to eat it is to eat it off the bone like a rib. I look. That is good, huh? That is really good, actually. I cut one of them off to share with the girls. I'm gonna enjoy that last one, though. And oh, by the way, these potatoes, they're like potatoes au gratin or something. I don't know what they are, but they are so, so good. Oh my gosh. Churros caliente. This is a little buddy. I love them. Oh, cool. Very soon. That's such a sleigh. Thank you. Oh, yay. That's cool. That's very cool. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Mmm. I don't know what it is, but it's really good. Burbank Blueberry Lemon Barbarian Cream. It is really good. Yeah, we got two of those. I had heard from other people that that was an amazing dessert. This one is mine and Lindsay's. Hands off the garnish. Hands off the garnish. Just kidding, you can have it. Mine. <laughs> I just cut this apple cheesecake and you got this apple tart, apple crumb tart right here uh, below it. It's a really, really good dessert. So far, all of these desserts at 1923 have been incredible. Our server Joseph has a trick for us. Hi guys. See this coffee cup? It's a regular coffee cup. But Nothing's in it. Wine cup, okay? I'm gonna put the cup on this coffee cup. It's lying flat on the table, right? When I put the cup on top, you say the magic word. What's the magic word? Okay. Bibidi, bibidi, three. Ready? One, two, three. Bibidi, 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 boo. What? Oh, how did you do that? That was hey. cool. Let's try one more time. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Magic's gonna happen right here. Nothing fancy. Just put the cup on top. Very important. When you put the cup on top, everybody put the magic. I know. I'm gonna sit out there watching. Not for Boo. Boo. Can you pick this up? Please? What? Very good. Nice. That is so cool. And uh, magic. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is it when you pick it up? <laughs> I have, that was cool. smooth. Good job. I feel like tonight was the best lighting. I feel like tonight was like the best dinner experience that I've had in a while, like on a cruise, because I felt like like our servers are amazing. They're so fun. They're they're just so they're so fun to be around. They're so they're so incredibly fast. With that with our food it's lightning again <laughs> um and the food tonight was also incredible like i mean it's a sunday but it's still really good and then the lamb ugh, so it's so good and then the uh, filet mignon was also really good it was the best dinner experience that i've had in a while on a cruise really good there you heard it i think that's one thing about this being a different ship for us because some of the meals like we love and but after you've had them a few times like on the other ships yeah you're like i mean it's fun to have them again but having all these new menu items and this new 
restaurant and everything. It's very different and the food is incredible. I think the other ships have incredible food too, but it really also depends on your service because if you have excellent service, it comes out really hot and really fast and that's when it's great. This is the one restaurant that doesn't have a show. We've had this light show happening the whole dinner. You just saw a few times as I was talking, lightning in the distance. We have gotten so many good sightings of lightning this whole dinner. So it's been really fun hanging out with our servers and enjoying this time together. Kind of the age our kids are at, it's fun to go to a restaurant without a show. So, yeah. I mean, I mean we like fun, but we like, like the shows, but like the frozen one last night, the little kids loved it. Our kids were like, eh. but we, we were kind of ignoring it and just talking. Yeah, I know people who this is their least favorite restaurant because it doesn't have a show and it's not super themed. I like it. I feel I feel like the atmosphere is very like I mean it's fun and light. It's much more chill. Very yeah. Like a regular restaurant, but like Disney. Whoa. We are outside on deck four and it's super humid out here. We just want to give you a little bit of the lightning show that's going on. This is amazing. Ooh! Woo! Everywhere. Woohoo! Woo! Oh my gosh! I just got that on video. I just got that on video, guys. Oh, oh nice! Whoa! Oh my God. Whoa! Let's go back, guys. We were enjoying the light show outside, and I heard Alyssa say that she did something when we were snorkeling earlier, and I hope she's okay. What did you do when we were snorkeling? I poked the jellyfish. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay up, up in here? Yeah. No. no. Why would you do that? <laughs> what? That's cute. I love it. Yeah. Yes. That is really cute. I'm pretty sure it's a rabbit, but that is the best really towel lovely. animal I think we've ever gotten. And he's watching TV. He's got my sunglasses on there, with his, chilling with his legs crossed. Love it. Yeah. So good. Okay, so why would you touch a jellyfish? Because it was on my bucket list. And I You touched the top of the jellyfish, to be clear. Yes, I did. What Not did the it, bottom. What did it feel like? It felt like, kind of like... Squishy? I don't want to say squishy, because it wasn't exactly squishy. Hi, Mom, look at our little animal towel. So cute. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I took this stairs. The the Grand Hall area up to the eleventh deck. Because we ate five desserts. That's I know, but it's a lot of stairs. I mean, good job. I'm proud of you. <laughs> You're crazy. You never actually said what it felt like. You said it wasn't squishy. It wasn't exactly squishy. It felt like jellified water. Interesting. You could tell it was different from your other surroundings in the water. Or like what water actually feels like. It felt like thicker, more condensed water, but sort of jellyish. Congrats on not getting stung. Yes, it was fun. Good, I'm glad you had fun. Don't do it again. Oh, probably. <laughs> I also got some pins earlier, and I want to show you guys them. Um, this one is like a limited edition, like kind of soft serve, like a character soft serve. It, it has chip on it. I also got this cute stitch one. That is so cool. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to try to go to family karaoke, and then we'll end the night there. Yep. We also did decorate a little bit more in our cabin. If you can't see it, it's like a black and purple thing. We got at the dollar store before the cruise. Uh, we put another one of those right here. Put another wreath right there. And I think I put another, I hung another one over our stateroom door. We like to get festive. Well, we've reached the end of another day on the Disney Wish. It was a very long, full, wonderful day. We did a lot today. We showed you guys some of uh, the stuff on the Wish that's themed to Halloween. Mm -hmm. We also ended our day taking the girls to karaoke. Or they took us to karaoke. They took us to karaoke. Yeah. They love singing karaoke and they picked some Taylor Swift songs. Mm -hmm. uh, Lindsay did one by herself and then they did one together. So it was really, and the whole night of karaoke was really fun seeing the kids and adults singing. We love doing that. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun seeing a lot of other people uh, get up and sing and there's a few other people that 
did a, did their best, and there's one of the guys did a great job. He was fully into that song he was singing. That, I mean, like he seemed like a paid performer. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was really good. And we didn't sing though. We it, don't. No, they, we don't usually sing. I, I don't mind singing with a group, but not by myself. Yeah, and I just uh, can't sing at all. But someday I might just get up there for fun, since you know that's kind of the point of karaoke. I mean, I might shine there since I can't hold a key. <laughs> Maybe. Not today. Not today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we can't wait to share more of our time on the Disney Wish with you guys in our next uh, video. Tomorrow for us, next week for you, we are going to Castaway Key. We're super excited. It's our second time there, and I think we're going to take it a lot more uh, relaxed. When we go to Castaway Key, we're going to rent bikes. We're planning on actually like kind of waking up a little bit later. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to get some Mickey Churro waffles that our server said he's going to try to arrange for us at breakfast. So we'll you'll see next week if that happens or not, because they yeah. don't normally have them on the Wish. We'll see how that goes. And we'll let you guys know how we were able to do that if we can get them. Tomorrow is also Pirate Night, so that will be there for you to watch next week. Thanks for being here, and we look forward to sharing a little bit more of our time on The Wish with you. Until then, have a great week. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.